My name is Nada Mazdalani. I'm the Palestinian director of EcoPeace Middle East uh, organization. Uh, EcoPeace, uh, for those who uh, are not familiar with it, is a regional organization uh, based in Palestine, Israel, and Jordan. And our main mission and focus is on environmental peace building. And you've got, um, you've got an interesting background, um, I would say pretty highly focused in environment, right? Can you tell us a little bit about that? Yes, uh, so um, my connection with environmental issues came early at an early stage when I was at school. Uh, I've been involved in environmental activities and uh, extracurricular uh, programs. Um, I've been also put into summer camps addressing uh, transboundary environmental and water issues. So I grew up actually with the slogan of environment and water knows no boundaries. As you can imagine, a teenager who is brought up on these concepts uh, and ideas uh, keeps things somewhere in the you know, back of the consciousness. Um, so uh, I studied uh, biology uh, as a BA, uh, and my master's was in environmental assessment and management uh, from the UK. And, um, when I came back uh, to Palestine after my master's, I worked in several um, organizations and programs re uh, related to uh, um, infrastructure, environmental protection, uh, water uh, provision, and so forth. Um, but it has always been, you know, in the back of my mind uh, that uh, there's something more to give to. Um, uh, to the environment uh, from not only from a perspective of uh, hardcore technical issues. Um, I still believed in the slogan that I've learned during my uh, teenager times. Uh, and I uh, reached out several times, in fact, to uh, hopefully get a chance to work for EcoPeace. Um, back then, uh, I've, I knew very well the former uh, a director in Palestine. Unfortunately, there was no room to accommodate me at that uh, time. Uh, but um, I don't know, years passed and I evolved. Uh, I got more experience. Uh, an opportunity was there to actually apply and become uh, a director here. And uh, it's just like a dream came true. That's, that's, that's pretty awesome. You, you've kind of answer one of my next questions but i'm going to ask it again um you know people talk about what their what their why is all the time what their purpose is and um tell me why why do you do what you do well um first of all i did tell you the first part which is the subconsciousness but the second part and the fur the more i grow up and the more i get also more aware of my surroundings and the consequences, and particularly for a Palestinian who is, um, you know, living under uh, harsh conditions because of the, uh, of the conflict and because of the restrictions uh, of the military control over the Palestinian territories, um, I find myself obliged to uh, basically get involved in uh, in such a uh, a motion and uh, uh, an organization, because I not only address peace building and environmental issues, I for for me as a Palestinian, I also address national self interest for uh, um, righteous access to water, um, righteous um, access to proper services and and uh, and uh, resources and uh, facilities that would enable uh, the Palestinian people to have uh, appropriate life conditions uh, in the context of a prosperous region. I, I, I'm not here only speaking of a Palestinian self-interest, but positioning ourselves in uh, a regional context that shares interest to prosper and grow together in a sustainable way.